Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my devotions. Grace and peace be with you. My topic for today is sowing spiritual seeds. And my first scripture lesson will be taken from St. John chapter 4, verse 34 to 38. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one soweth and another reapeth. I see you, I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored and you are entered into their labor. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, glory be to God. Think about everything that contributed to the story of how you came to know Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's probably not possible to fully count all those spiritual seeds that God used to draw you to him. And not all the people who sowed good seed into your life knew what the outcome would be. We also have the opportunity and privilege every single day of sowing seeds into the lives of others, such as our friends, co-workers, children, grandchildren, or even strangers. God takes what you plant and adds to it. He leads others to sow further seeds or water the ground. Little by little, truth gets cultivated in their lives. What greater thing could you do? Conversely, you might focus on providing your kids with plenty of material security and send them to the best schools and colleges. And yet, it would count nothing for eternity. But when you sow into their lives the things of God and the qualities of Jesus, you're feeding their spirits. The seeds that affect their hearts, view of God, and desire to make a difference for him in the world are what will produce genuine, lasting fruit and a great harvest in their lives. Whether or not you ever see the results, the Lord is using you profoundly when you sow this kind of crop. God sees all the little things you do. He is interested in more than just big things. The fruit of his spirit, such as kindness, patience, and self-control, often manifests itself in quiet ways that others may never give you credit for. But such spiritual seeds accomplish powerful work in his kingdom. Let us look at how we can serve. St. Matthew 25, verse 34 to 40, tells us, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you for the f from the foundation of the world. For I was an hunger, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Naked, and he clothed me. I was sick, and he visited me. I was in prison, and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee an ungod, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto you, unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. 
hearing that another portion of God's read word we honor it by saying glory be to God. Stop for a moment and consider the purpose of your life. Are you living to pursue your own interest or success? Does your energy revolve around your family members? Perhaps your ambition is to change the world for the better. All of these aims, even the last one, which sounds so selfless or futile, the only goal of lasting value and fulfillment is serving Christ. As his followers, we should mod model our life after his. And Mark 10 verse 45 tells us that even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. We honor him by doing likewise. Yet sometimes we can feel overwhelmed when we consider the amazing ways that other believers are serving the Lord. With God on his side, King David led great armies into war. Today, there are evangelists who speak to tens of thousands, and many lives are saved. How could anything we do compare to accomplishment like these? And while comparisons may discourage us, Christians use other excuses for not trying, such as a lack of experience or having the wrong personality for the task. But God's call for each person is unique. He will provide the words, ability, and circumstances so that you can achieve what he wants done. Remember, our Father is the one who makes the difference. We are merely tools, and we are blessed to be used by him. Are you demonstrating your love for the Lord by serving others? Live in such a way that each evening you can tell him, Lord, as best as I know how, I have attempted to serve your purpose today. Let us pray. Father, I give you praise, honor, and glory in the highest. You are my faithful and compassionate Father. You are powerful and mighty to save, and you are always near to me. Jesus died so that I could be forgiven of my sins. My hope is in you, and your Holy Spirit lives in me. Lord, help me to extend your compassion to those people you have placed in my life. Help me to display the fruit of the Spirit in my daily life so that unbelievers can see you in me. Let them see that you are the only way to eternal life. I pray that I would be a witness to your goodness and glory in all the places you have put me. Father, thank you for your great salvation plan for mankind. Thank you for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who came into the world as a living sacrifice. Help me not to take for granted the gift it is to share your gospel with others. Open my eyes to see the need around me and to respond to those needs in joy and hope. Help me to serve you willingly because you first served me gladly by your life, death, and resurrection. No one will ever outserve you, Lord. Help me not to serve for the approval of people because it is you I serve and not men. Help me to keep my eyes open for the people and opportunities you bring me to serve and bless in Jesus precious name amen thank you for listening today i hope you have been blessed have yourself a wonderful and productive day peace